Um, uh, Bernardo was said to TV that Manchester City are in a dark place at the moment. Is that how you see it, or is this a bigger challenge because it's something so unusual? No, I'm not agree with him. You don't agree with him, are you? No. no, we are not in the dark side. We played really bad against Bournemouth. We played really good today. The only regret we can concede the third or fourth. You have to it's not necessary the penalties. I would say, ah, we cannot start the second half a scoring goal. Yeah, it can happen. They do the good action, it can happen, but 44 minutes or 47 minutes left. And emotionally, we were in that position stable. I think we make a really good first half against a top, top team. We were close to score the second, the third, and emotion is difficult when we play the first half that we played, and after two minutes, second half, we are losing 3-1. Uh, it's not easy to swallow, but it's an experience, and I'm here. So it's a big challenge, and we knew that will be a tough season for a start. We know it, we talk about that for many reasons, but this is what it is. I like it, I love it, I want it. Face it and lift my players and, and, and try it. So life is like this. So maybe the past, the six Premier Leagues in seven years, four in a row is the exception. Then naturally, sometimes you lose, so... In the sports, we play really good. Today, we play really good. Bournemouth, mm -mm. they deserve it. And yeah, continue. Any more questions in English before we go to Portuguese? Yeah, Jamie, front please. Hi, Pep. When you say you were not emotionally stable, do you just mean in that moment? No, yeah. In these actions. In these actions. We don't have to touch the opening in the ATR box, we talk many times, in that action, but of course we are stable. Listen, we lost 4-1, congratulations, there are no defense today, so we lost, they deserve it, what can I say? But I know how the way we behave today, how good we were, and and the young central defender, the exceptional game he played, and yeah, so nothing else, so when you lose 4-1, what can I say? Nothing. So, but the team, I like it. We were cl close to mid zero two zero three. The stadium was calm, but in one action, that we lose simple things with the quality players that normally don't happen. And when you have the ball and you lose the ball away, being a lot of players in front, there was a transition. But we create more, we play better. But after you know doing what we have done three one, sometimes it's difficult for the players. I understand it. So given all that, you're looking forward to Brighton and seeing your, play, your, your team play well there, hopefully. What should we do? Otherwise? <laughs> no? So we're coming back to Manchester to prepare the game in Brighton. Yeah, absolutely. Why not give up? Maybe we'll, people waiting, but I'm not giving up. No, no, no. That's for sure. Obviously, obviously, Bernardo feels down, and I guess some of the players do as well, but you're obviously convinced that it was a good performance. How, how do you convince them over they, the next they, few days to, to lift their head up and they know to it. keep going? I know his result for one is impossible to say for the, for the wall it was a good performance. We lost for one, so finish. But they know they play good. In certain moments they play good, and we were what we were. But we are not what I would say that we have to do a lot to score goals. And and we were three one, of course, in the first half. Like Savinia lose the ball and we carries have the chance one against one. A part of that, they didn't do anything apart of after the goal. So and doing this against that team, this exceptional team, talk highly about me. But this is my feeling. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Is that sorry, is that a problem? You say you have to do a lot to score a goal, but maybe the other teams don't have to do yeah. so much. It happened in my first season, so my first years, especially that we play really good and they do it, but sometimes they happen. Try to find an explanation, yeah, I had to try to find it, but sometimes it's, it's just football, you know, and I men accept it. It's just, okay, life is that, or a sport is that, sometimes good or bad moments, okay, we face them or the reality, or we said, oh, we start to complain, we start to find excuses. Everyone has to try to be better, be better, be better, and we will find it. Still, we are alive in all competitions, and, and yeah, we continue.
Hi, Pep. Um, you've been very complimentary of Ruben Namarin before, um, but did you expect his team to come at you like they did tonight? Like even at you know, three-one up, they were attacking in such numbers. Did you expect? Could you expect? In transition, them to... yeah, we're really, really strong. And did you expect? Did you expect them to keep yeah. coming and coming and coming, even though they were three-one down? They continue what? Well, even when they were three-one up, they kept attacking in numbers. They didn't sit back and sit on the lead. Did you no, they sit to... back. They sit back, but they run a lot in transitions. Yeah, so they, they sit back, but they run in transition. When we lose the ball in that position, and contest with Goikers and Trincao in the other place, the physicality, they can do it. Yeah, the emotionally were, were fine. And when that's happened, you know, with 3-1, it happened. Of course, you can... I've been in that position many times, and I know your mood is good. The football is an emotional feeling, you know, and, and handle that we play really good after the tough defeat against Bormo, how good we react and after that, oh God, we're playing good, we're three on down. You know, it's not easy. And for them it's wow, it's fantastic. And the emotions are there. So after we can analyze the reason why so do it that but I think we make incredible build up. I think they were there and all the action for mainly a transition. But yeah, no all the teams it's normally happen. Pep, are you um you've seen in your time a lot of young managers come and go and rise and fall. Uh, Amarim has got a big reputation. Are you looking forward to, is that part of what you enjoy about the job? Are you looking forward to the challenge of what he will bring when he arrives in English football? Yeah, I will be manager from United and we're going to face them two times in the Premier League and I don't know, in FA Cup, in Champions League cannot be possible. And. And we see, yeah, we, I learned for all the manager I face, uh, Ruben, I think as well. So, yeah, but you have to understand it. My concern is focus not in the challenge we're playing in United, so, you know, see what can it do to, you know, back in our best. This is what we try to do. Let's take a couple of questions in Portuguese, please. <laughs> Olá, Pepe. Miguel Custódio, a Sporting TV. O Manchester City é uma das melhores equipas do mundo, sem dúvida. O que o Sporting fez aqui hoje torna o Sporting uma equipa especial, com toda a experiência que tem, todas as equipas que defrontou. E também este ambiente no estádio impressionou, de alguma forma, os Sportingistas? Yeah, it was good. In the in the pre-game, with a 0-1, it was quiet. And after 1-1, they were, you know, in good momentum. And after the second half, in two minutes, 1-3, 3-1. So it's, yeah, it's normal. So, yeah, the stadium, you know, pretty sure Portugal, Spain, Italy, you know, Greece, these environments are there. So, it's yeah, it was really cool. To, I thought the result was not good, but it was nice to play here. And as I said in the beginning, so nothing to say. When you lose for one, only you can to say is congratulate the sport in the Lisboa for the victory, for the good performance has done. You know, it's only I, I can say. Olá, é, sou Ana Paula Gomes do Brasil, da Record Brasil aqui na Europa. E eu queria te fazer uma pergunta um pouquinho fora do jogo. É, uma pesquisa de opinião no Brasil coloca o seu nome como treinador da seleção do Brasil. As pessoas, os brasileiros querem isso. Desculpa voltar nesse momento, mas o que, que você pensa disso? É, qual é o teu sentimento e ainda diante de um momento como esse no City? Obrigada. Depois de um 4 a 1, já não sou uma opção para o Brasil. Eu tenho, não, não, não. Eu tenho mais que nunca tenho ganas de de levantar o equipo, de voltar a a nosso a nosso nível. Boa noite, Pepe Guardiola, João Alves Domingos para, para a RTP. Desde que chegou à Inglaterra e ao Manchester City, dominou o futebol inglês, dominou uh, a cidade de Manchester. Depois daquilo que viu aqui hoje, uh, do Sporting e de Ruben Amorim, acha que vai chegar à Inglaterra um treinador que vai poder rivalizar consigo? Não o sei. Não o sei se será melhor que nós outros. Não o sei. Temos de esperar. Agora mesmo não o sei. Bem-vindo a... Evidentemente para él venir con este resultado es mucho mejor que hubiera sido otro, pero lo que va a pasar en los próximos años, dos, tres, cuatro, Rubén ahí, solo él puede responder lo con United, yo no lo sé. Buenas noches.